High school sports are going to look a little different this year, with football being moved to the spring. Now I headed out to Fairfield to check out some of their summer workouts. They've had back-to-back 10-win -back seasons, but head coach Justin Townsend says this season he's setting his sights even higher. That'd be a great start for us, but I think our goal maybe is to achieve a little bit more than that. You know, kind of the next step for our program is uh, progressing to that 11 and 12 win, man, win mark, and that's kind of our goal this year. Fairfield was a running powerhouse last season. With some talented receivers in the lineup this year, the Mules will look to add more points in the air. We're going to be more balanced offensively than we have been in the past. We've always been predominantly run you know, 80% of the time, but I, I think we'll be 50-50, 60-40 this year, and I, I think that's going to make us uh, that much more difficult to defend. At the helm of the offense is quarterback Landon Zerlini. The senior has one motto, and it's to never be satisfied. You can be prideful of what we've done, but we can't accept that. We have to continue to work every day after a win. Can't just dwell on the past two years. We've had great seasons, but wanting to get better every day at practice to get that 11th win is going to be very important. The Mules have been playing together for years. A chemistry that's helped take their game to the next level. With a guy like Blake, who I went to school with since I was in kindergarten, so we know each other very well. So, you know, maybe when you have a play, a designed route, and it's not there, you kind of know where he's going to be, kind of like, kind of like a second sense. It happens all the time. I mean, Landon, he does a great job back there. So, I mean, we kind of know where to go before the play even happens. So we just trust that, trust our connection with each other, and we just do what we need to do. We really work good together, and that we've just been having a really good couple seasons together. We all grew up together, played JFL together, and I think us all knowing each other and just really knowing the sport well helps. With the addition of a kicker this year, the Mules add a new dimension to their scoring. We traditionally do not kick the football. We go for two, and it's always been a struggle for us. But uh, I think the Coles Kicking Academy ranked him number five in the state of Illinois. He's, he's, he's the real deal, uh, Aaron Perez. So uh, that's a weapon that we're hoping we get to get use this season, definitely, because it's something we, we typically don't have. For Zerlini, this season has extra special meaning. It's his last year playing under his dad. He makes me better, honestly. He pushes me to be my best, even some days at practice when I don't, when it's hot and you know you don't want to try your hardest. When he's pushing you to go your hardest, it definitely makes you better. It's difficult because he is harder on you than he is everyone else. But I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a special connection. I mean, we're able to talk about the game. Uh, you know, at home, we're able to watch film together, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, we can get some input, he can maybe give me a little bit of the team vibe on how things are going, And um, but yeah, definitely, I, I think there'll be some emotion on senior night, and uh, we're hoping we can go out with a bang this year. That's all the sports time we have. Reporting in Carbondale, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports. Thanks, Kendra. Well, two NASA astronauts make a splash.